How many friends have you made today? Chapter 7, Part 2. I cry not of the fiction, Zanon. I cry from the truth. That certainly catches Zanon off guard. What does she mean by that? Well, regardless, I might have a few questions for you when I get dressed. He answers. Why do you feel the need to clothe yourself? Luna raises a brow. Do you not feel better in the nude? Anon could feel his cheeks redden, something rare for either princess to see. I thought I told you before why I wear clothes. He questions, and Luna shakes her head. I do not remember such conversations. Just help me get away from Celestia, I'll tell you then. Anon slowly tries to shuffle his way out of Celestia's hold, but all he gets in return is her tightening her grip. Going somewhere? Anon hears Celestia coo into his ear. Yeah, I need to get out of this bed and dressed now. He says without a waver in his voice. Do you not wish to rest longer? She asks. Nope, I want my clothes. She can feel his heart starting to race. Fearing that he's getting scared, she lets him go quickly. He rises from the bed with a blanket wrapped around his body and he walks over to his clothes that are tossed around the room. This evidence is not helping him in proving that this is all just a big misunderstanding. And if anything, it just proves that he definitely did something that he's gonna regret later. With his clothes in hand, he walks into the bathroom and closes the door. Did you find Anon to be far more reluctant to make contact with us? Luna asks, and Celestia nods. He did seem to shy away from us during his escape. Perhaps we have missed a custom of his people. Luna whispers to herself. There is a chance. Celestia agrees, having heard her. Anon leans his mouth under the faucet as he takes his fill of the water that comes. His head still hurts, but at least the water will help. He looked up in the mirror and thought, Now, how is he going to approach something like this? Should he just come right out and ask? He shakes his head. There's still a chance that this is all just a misunderstanding, or at least he hopes so, but he has no idea what to do if it isn't. Fully dressed and still feeling like trash, he walks back into the room where Celestia and Luna wait. Anon walks out of the bathroom fully clothed. Both princesses are lying on his bed still as they look at him. How drunk was I last night? He asks. Barely coherent. Luna answers. He nods. Mm hmm, that explains a few things. Anon shifts uneasily at his next question. Why was I naked in bed? We thought you would be more comfortable. Celestia states. All right, time for the real question. D did we... You know... Anon looks away in total embarrassment as he makes a hole with one hand and pokes his index finger into it. Both sisters' faces light up as the gesture hits home. Does Anon really think that they rutted last night? Celestia wasn't sure what to say as Luna slowly changes from shocked to something a little more sinister. Yes, Prince Anonymous. Luna answers. Both Anon and Celestia practically snap their necks as they look at Luna in shock. <laughs> pr pr prince Anon asks hesitantly, and Luna nods. Verily, you have claimed both mine sisters and our own flower. You shall rise to the ranks as a prince, as per tradition. Anon stumbled back against the wall. No, this isn't what he wants. Th this is complicated, and he doesn't like complicated. Celestia quickly recovers, and she knows what her sister is up to now. Do not listen to my sister, Anon. Celestia shoots Luna a glare. She knows not when the time for pranks is right. Luna gives a hesitant nod. Forgive us, Anon. We could not help ourselves. Anon feels his heart rate slow as he hears this. To his surprise, he isn't angry. In fact, he feels what people would label as happy. Alright, so they didn't do it. Right? It was probably best to be sure. Okay, so we didn't do it. Anon pushes past his embarrassment. Nay. Luna answers. So, why are you two in my bed, and why was I naked again? He asks. Do you not remember last night? Celestia asks, and he shakes his head. Not really, no. He notices her getting slightly nervous. He had a bad feeling about this. The fact that both of them are turning from his gaze just confirms that whatever happened last night would be regretful. Anon, please take a seat. Celestia pats a spot on the bed. Yep. Definitely gonna regret what happened. He complies as he takes a seat on the bed between Celestia and Luna. They seem to shift uneasily as they try to find a way to start this conversation. I feel that being direct will be best. Luna says with a sigh. Anonymous, we have broken thine trust. 
When our sister came to us, she asked, um, nay, begged us to reveal to her what dreams you hath. Anon can slowly feel his anger rising. He didn't need a dictionary to understand what she was saying. Celestia came to her and asked about his dreams, and then Luna told her. On the outside, he didn't look any different to when he sat down. But on the inside, he is about to snap if he didn't get reasons quickly. The only reason he allowed Luna to view his dreams was because she got worried so much when she didn't. Now that she actually went and told her sister about them, he feels as if his privacy has been shattered. Those were his dreams in his mind. She has no right to tell anyone about them without his permission. Celestia can sense a spike in Anon's heart rate. She needs to say something quickly. I worry about you. She speaks softly. So I asked my sister to tell me about these dreams, to try and understand, to find a way to help you. There's that word again. Help. Every time he hears that word, it makes him feel like he's broken, that people have to fix him. He isn't some toy that ran out of batteries. The way he lives his life is his choice. I never asked for your help, Anon says in his calm demeanor. I don't want your help. That is not all. Luna comes in. We asked you in your inebriated state about the meaning, and you have told us without hesitation. We know what three elements did to you. Anon can feel his hands trembling as he continues to clench them tight. He is beyond rage right now. He can imagine what he wants to say to these princesses to hurt them, not physically, but emotionally. But just as fast as his rage built, it all disappears. Again, it's just one of those things out of his control. He lets out a shaky sigh. He needs to get out of here. Anon rises from his seat as he walks towards the door to his room. He stops and faces the two princesses. I'm gonna go for a walk. He gives a nod to one. Princess Celestia. Then a nod to the other. Princess Luna. He quickly walks out of the door without another word. Maybe some time in the garden will help him clear his mind. All he knows is that he really needs to be alone right now. But little did he know that his parting words were enough to bring tears to the eyes of Celestia and Luna. Just by adding their titles, they know that they have crossed a line. It hurt them. And it cut them deeper than any insult would have. Ah, <sighs> those built-up rage moments. We've all had them before, I guarantee that. It just sucks that they pop up more than once in our lives. Now let's get off of the angry talk and let's get on to our very happy donators. Top donators, TacoCat598, Peter Coltard, J Tin Man, Darkside, Ponyman, and Gauntlet. Star630, Strix, Raiden, Black Moonheart, Drake Love Dragon, Dospo, Delta Omega, Runescythe9852, Hunter Norman, Dash of Evergreen, Rhiny Dragonwolf, Secret Moon, Tal Rasha, The Toilet Snake, Sword Brother and Mordred, Ron and Wandering, Random Person Man Guy, Easy, Jack Cadge, Skyochia, Leslie Prickett, Jordan Peterson, Crimson Kitten A9, Lightskin, Monster Kitty, Madman Stan, Starlight Glimmer, Lightning Blitz, Squiddy Boy, David E. Sanchez, Soul Dragon, Gaggy, Trey, Shadow Drake, Joker C, Alex F, Rainbow Dash, TLK Anderson, TV Killer, John Becker, Leon Reynolds, Raven Speedster, Zach Rakow, Mystery CU, Edgar Garcia, One Kingdom One, Nissa Rusan, Vizuri, Dyslexia Character Sheets, Just a Random Boy, Hodrick Plencart, A Crazy Person, Ponyman365, Neapolitan, Six of Nine, Shyfire, Stamp, and Dion Baseri. Thank you all so much for watching this video, and live life to the fullest.